there are many two different types of encryption out there. The first one is called symmetric encryption and the other one is called asymmetric encryption and we briefly discussed this in our terminology video. Uh, when it comes to the symmetric encryption we're talking about only one key being used to both encrypt and decrypt so you can also say that it is a cipher that requires only one key the same key to both encrypt and decrypt as you can see here asymmetric key encryption as you can tell uses different keys to encrypt and decrypt so you can say that asymmetric key encryption is a cipher that requires two keys in this case a key pair one key to encrypt and the other key to decrypt so usually the key we use to encrypt is called a public key and a key to decrypt a message is called a private key here is my favorite cipher or encryption example which is uh, Caesar cipher when using Caesar cipher you start with a plain text and then you shift the letters of the plain text each letter of the plain text by a certain number so we typically use notation K to represent by how many letters we are shifting the original text so when K is for example 2 and we also call this our key an encryption key in this case if you started with a text like secret here uh, what we'll do is so for the first letter S uh, we shift S by two letters in your alphabet list so what comes after S T right and then what comes after T U so if we shift the original letter S by two letters you get uh, U so S is encrypted as U in this case what about E E shifted by two letters what's the next one F and then what's coming after F G so G is your ciphertext and then we can uh, work with C C after C comes D D and then E and then R S T right and then E again we see that it's encrypted into G right so F G so that's good what about T S T U and then V right so V is the encryption result or cipher text so basically secret is encrypted into U G E T G V in this case so very simple uh, encryption method or cipher in this case an ancient or very primitive way of doing encryption and it's very easy to decrypt because all you have to do is really to shifting the letters keep shifting the letters until you actually find the original plain text so I have a quick question for you which is how many keys are available in Caesar cipher think about your answer 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000 so the answer is there are only 25 because there are only 26 letters in the alphabet so this is why the cipher is so limited because the key space in this case the number of possible keys is only 25 so I mean they just need to try 25 different times
to find the original plain text.